Hey everybody and welcome to another video for the Ubuntu channel here and everything Linux related and today we're going to be going over how to make sober work when you have latest hardware and let me get to, to the point here so I've been trying to solve why for my kids sober was not working something since March something like that um, simply stop working okay and I've been debugging it uh, here's my uh, issue tracker for it um, first time I submitted it and all that all the things that I tried uh, all the output that I got all the um, errors that I got in Dmesh and all that um, the suggestions that were mentioned for me to do I did them everything everything okay so it wasn't it wasn't that solar was broken it wasn't that flatback was having an issue it was none of that it's actually related directly related to the hardware so if you are let's say if you have high-end hardware then your chances of solar not working are higher let's just put it like that okay um, there's a there was a lot of testing that I was doing here and I got to the point where I actually had access to several computers at the same time with several friends and we tested everything out and I got these results okay um, this was like three weeks ago I was figuring out how to how to resolve this issue which is basically it doesn't matter the, the video card that you have by the way uh, what matters is more or less the CPU that you have and basically how powerful it is the more powerful it is for for some instruction set okay the most likely Roblox will not work on your end with sober so it's not so much a sober issue okay it's hardware issue and here are the things that I, I tested these are my two computers that I have um, then I have another one which is this one then I have another one which is um, I don't see it here or do I well there's one missing here that I also testing on laptop which had a GTX um, 1150 or something like that I, I know it's like a one more it's not zero here it's something it, it's 16 oh it's actually it's this one yep there it is so on that one it worked on the, this one also worked on this two it didn't work then a couple of friends helped me out with all of this here and then we, we basically sorted them out by by how powerful the CPU is so you can see that the lower end sober worked and then when it got to a certain point where the CPU just went crazy uh, it didn't work it didn't work at, at all um, at the beginning I thought it was RAM because a couple of the computers that are here actually have a lot of RAM I use them for server cloud teaching uh, students and all that and they basically didn't work so I lower the amount literally remove a bunch of memory until they got to like 32 it still didn't work I lower the CPU frequency I got my own script here uh, that basically lowers the, fre uh, the frequency of the CPU it didn't work I removed the boost it didn't work I did it, all the suggestions for flatback that didn't work okay and my son about a week ago he's like he saw me with a virtual box and all that he wanted to learn a little bit about it I explained to him how it limits the CPU and, and, and you can say how many CPUs and all that he, he knew about my sober issue and basically he said why don't you test over inside of it I'm like oh my god so I did and that's where this video comes in okay you can see that I did a lot of testing like a lot of testing uh, with that and then suddenly I'm like okay let's do a virtual box and a VMware um, test um, for both of these cases which work by the way you're gonna need flat hub because that's where you're gonna be getting sober from you gotta set up flat hub here and you go to your favorite distro in my case Ubuntu here and just follow these steps literally follow these steps and then you can reboot um, after you also do the the updates for the system 
here's where you can download the Ubuntu, the latest Ubuntu. You know, you can use this one or you can use my recommended one, which is this one, because of the Mesa um, new versions. And basically, it runs the FPS better. That's all I'm saying uh, compared to this one. Um, for VMware, you have to do probably like three Hail Marys or something because for me to find and make this button work, like I could click it doesn't do anything. But for me to be able to, you gotta sign in also on VMware. You gotta sign in, you gotta put a bunch of information, no credit card information because it's free, but you gotta put a lot of information in there, like crazy amounts of information that they ask you. It's stupid, it's just stupid. For VirtualBox, just, just click download and download the extension here and you go to Linux and just download the version for you. That's it. And in my case, I'm, I'm in 2504. I can use the latest 2410 and that's it. That was it. So there's something that VMware and Broadcom should actually learn from just making it easier for the user. But anyway, for both cases, okay, I install Ubuntu in both cases. For the installation process here, you got to do it yourself because I would be making a really long video uh, about how to install Roblox here. But basically just install one of the two. VMware and when you're configuring it when you're configuring it and you have I'm assuming that your problem is because you have latest hardware Okay, you got too much hardware for silver So the solution here is for example in my case you could you could put this at 8 if you want to on VMware You can set the I put on 16 out of the bunch of that I have on this computer And I limited the the CPUs to 4 you can put it on 8 and it works fine so no problem just don't go super high in there okay this was not enabled before hmm interesting when I installed the thing it didn't it didn't give me the option to enable that um, and the the video card here is the accelerate 3d graphics I love this that I can put eight gigabytes of for the display in my case in my case because I can allow it to to give it that I'm guessing um, again, this is a computer that has a, a 5090. There's a, next to me is a 4090, and so on. So I'm, I'm assuming you have latest hardware. If you don't and you have that issue, just lower this and start playing around with the amount of memory and and RAM, me memory for the video card, and RAM for for the scenario that we're going to be playing here. So after that, just you know. Play it. Well, that's running because I got Mango HUD running everywhere. Okay, here's you know the things that I can install there. Here's the Ubuntu. Obviously, I can't play sober. You you saw it on my ticket there, but inside VMware, I already installed it here. See, and I literally clicked it. Voila! I got the lol. Lol. I got this one. Let's play it. Let me see how it works. Okay. You can see how it works. But on VMware, I'm seeing, and also happens on, on, what do you call it? On VirtualBox, the mouse behaves weirdly. So you have to like go to here and go to settings and then configure you know, the sensitivity here and maybe even enable the, the inverted thing here. And, you gotta play around until you actually you, you get it working. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay, I don't and the sound like you gotta log into the to the game a couple of times or on VMware to actually work. I'm only able to hear the FPS and you can see that it's sixty. Okay. Sixty FPS that I'm getting there. Look for the one with sound. That's a lot of well, you get my point. I'm I'm pretty sure you, you you got my point there. Let's turn off the the VMware version, which has that mouse issue. I wasn't able to actually solve it. 
but you got the gist that you're able to to play around with that there now let's start virtual box so on virtual box I got like the two Roblox account one for my daughter one for my my son oh again on, on virtual box it's just you got a settings there's a couple of things that you gotta do uh, once you you know set up you you install your uh, image Ubuntu whatever you gotta make sure that the pointing device is PS2 mouse um, you have to make sure that the video memory is the maximum which in this case 256 okay the graphics control is the VM like the VMware uh, Super VGA okay and extended features enable 3D acceleration in the processor you gotta make sure that it's not super huge because that's the actual problem that we're having in solar so just make it four or eight it's whatever you want whatever you want in that range and make sure that the video memory is that much that's it it's very straightforward here on 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 VirtualBox not so much on on VMware that you get lost okay so let's start this baby let's play the dog one all right I gotta mouse integration there you can see Whoosh, that thing scare me let me lower the sound before I die here you can see that the sound works beautifully on VisualBox and look for that monster there it is disable this well anyway you can see or hear that the sound works immediately out of the box on virtual box not so much on VMware okay and just works just works just works the benefits of playing on a computer you can just do this lol okay and you can see that the camera works with the mouse and I can jump okay let's get out of this one and let's play another one it, it doesn't mean that all games will work by the way because you're running this on a virtual box and so I'm pretty sure that it, it, the ones that ask for more um, you know resources or something you're gonna hit a roadblock and it's gonna crash open it again try it again you know if it crashes at least three times and then you know that there's a problem with it like this exactly like this so just let's open it again and let's try that one that just crashed just get rid of this one that's what I mean sure yeah oh my god why am I running like that? Click to gain speed and reach. Oh my god, did I click that many times? He's running like a gangster. Yeah. Oh, I can't go there. And practice there? No? Well, you get my point. Game is working. Woohoo! On a virtual environment. Works much better on, on VirtualBox than VMware. Um, and that's it. On both, you get 60 FPS or whatever you put as a limit there. So I hope this video helps people with um, higher end uh, PCs. So now you know that you can run a, a, a virtual environment. And that's it. If you need a video about, there's a bunch of videos about how to do it, on, on how to install VirtualBox and, and the whole thing there. Uh, it just, it's a little bit straightforward. You click add here and then just go through the whole um, 
you select an image and you say how much RAM and space and all that's going to be there and blah blah blah. Here you can see my settings for the VirtualBox one. Uh, and that's it. So hope this video helped everybody to solve the mystery in how to make and even control the hardware for Roblox so it works on your computer. Okay? Big hugs and think positive as always.